Thank you for purchasing a Swift Green filter. There are a few things you need to do before you can start using your new filter. Before installation, you must soak your new filter in water for 15 minutes before installing it in your fridge. This removes air from the carbon block. After installation, you must flush two to three gallons of water through the filter. This removes any air and black carbon particles that may be present. The flow may sputter until the filter is full. Please note, once you unbox your filter, there may be little black carbon particles on the outside of your filter. This is normal. These occur during shipping when the filter gets moved around inside of the box. Your filter is still good to use. Simply wipe off the particles. We apply an NSF approved food grade silicone to lubricate our filter connections. Do not wipe off the silicone. If you have wiped off the silicone, you can lubricate it yourself with vegetable oil or petroleum jelly. Our filters are designed with a tighter connection between the filter and the adapter in your fridge. You may require more leverage to properly secure the filter. Troubleshooting. My filter is not dispensing water. Why? A. If you haven't already, soak the filter for 15 minutes and then try reinstalling it. B. Make sure you push the new filter into the receiver and firmly turn it to the right. Refer to your installation guide if your filter does not install this way. C. Hold down the dispenser to let out any air that may have gotten in the line. D. Make sure the refrigerator's water line is turned on. The saddle valve connects the water supply line to the house plumbing. It must be fully open for the refrigerator to receive any water. E. And finally, remember, the dispenser in the door will not operate unless the door is closed. Why is the water cloudy after my new filter has been installed? Why does my new filter make noise? Why are there little black granules in my water after installing a new filter? All of these problems are solved by running two to three gallons of water through the dispenser. The cloudiness is caused by tiny air bubbles. The noise is caused by air pockets. And the black granules are tiny pieces of carbon. Running water through the dispenser will flush out the air pockets, air bubbles, and any loose carbon particles from the filter. Why does my water dispenser drip water? A few drops are normal, but if the dispenser drips water constantly, it could be a water valve problem and should be checked out by a service technician. Thank you for choosing Swift Green Filters.